and welcome to another three string cigar box guitar lesson. Um, this is the second in a series of looking at playing with chords. <coughs> so um, previous one, uh, definitely check that out on our channel, uh, we were looking at major chord sequences. So um, generally major sounds uh, more sort of positive and uh, happy than minor. Uh, I've kind of deliberately made this a little bit more subtle. Um, so this is a minor chord progression, it almost sounds quite classical. Um, just because of the way uh, putting the chords together. Um, so in the previous video uh, we were looking at um, playing in a major key which was um, like G, A, B, C, D, E. What we're going to do is we're going to change this and uh, I'm actually going to bypass the A because uh, you end up playing what you call a diminished chord which we, we don't really want to get into with three strings. Um, so I'm going from the G straight to a B but instead of playing a B on fret 4 uh, I'm going to flatten it. I'm going to move it down to fret 3. So a flat note is literally, if you think you're just squashing uh, the sound down, you're making it sound one step lower, So if you're, which is normally written with a lowercase b. Um, so that is a b with a lowercase b, which is a b flat. Um, so straight away, that's sounding much more minor if I, uh, if I play the b on fret 3. I'll keep the c and the d the same as before. And instead of playing the E on fret 9, I'm going to use the same trick and I'm going to flatten that, move that to fret 8. So straight away, just with those two alterations, it's sounding very different. So we've got G, B flat, C, D, E flat. I can add one extra chord in. I can go to so E flat to fret 8. I can go to fret 10 which is an F, and then if I was going to come all the way up here, it's quite tricky to bar on fret 12 there, that's a high G. So, just before we get into some playing, that was just a quick demo, let's just check we're in tune. So, low G, middle D, high G. Okay, so that's sort of typical, sort of standard uh, three-string cigar box guitar tuning. And uh, that's a power chord. Uh, I've got, gone into quite a lot of this in um, more detail on the previous major um, chord progression lesson, so check that video out. But um, basically, power chord's neutral, so we can go either way. If, um, if I just push down fret 4 on um, the high G string, that would be a major chord. But if I move it to fret 3, it's going to be a minor chord, which is what we're using today. So... Um, Open, open, fret 3, that's giving us a G minor. Okay. Um, when you're barring, remember you want to get your thumb halfway down the back of the neck and clamp onto the side of your finger. Much more detail on the major uh, video, major chord video. So that's just actually a, G, a B flat a power chord, fret 3. Um, C, fret 5, that's a C power chord as well. Uh, and then D fret 7 is a power chord, E flat fret 8 power chord, F, F, F uh, fret 10 power chord. Um, so we're going to change these if we want to turn them into actual major chords. Uh, we, we need to put the, the major note back in. Um, so for example, if we're on fret 3, uh, this is a proper stretch. So if it's difficult, we can, we can play it without this. But uh, if I push down on fret 7, that is actually a uh, B flat major now. Um, if that's a bit tricky, uh, we, we can add some extra notes in uh, just on fret five of the top two strings because that is a bit of a stretch. Um, and then if I moved up to fret five, that is a C power chord, but if I want to um, turn it into a minor, I'm going to just push down on fret number 8. So we can hear that's very minor sounding, so that's a C minor. Um, and if I wanted to play the D, uh, I 
could mm. play it as a minor, but actually it sounds really a uh, very sort of classical sounding, but very strong minor sound if I actually play that D as a major. So I'm, I'm coming up to uh, fret 11 here. So there's G minor. So I sort of rest from the bar here. It's quite difficult. And then there's the B flat. There's the C minor. And there's the D. So if we just say B flat and D, we we actually mean like a, a major chord. Um, if I was to play the E flat up here, then I'm going to move the bar up to fret eight, and I'm going to um, push down on fret twelve. And then if I want to play the F up here, that's that's going to be right up on fret fourteen, fret ten. Uh, I could even bar and go up to fret fifteen. Um, however, we could play flat down here and the F down here which is quite a bit easier less sort of stamina busting with your left hand your fretting hand so um, these require more of a bridge so again um, check out the other video for like more, more detail on this but basically curl your fingers round so that you're not catching strings underneath so you can see that um, Allowing all the strings to ring out, so sort of using the tips of my fingers there. Okay, so that's an E flat, fret three, fret one, open top string, and then uh, there is an F, which is a slightly awkward shape. That's fret five, fret three, fret two. Uh, I, I can also um, add this note in here if I wanted, fret 5 for a, a G minor. It's still, it's just a slight, slightly different variation. Um, I, I was sort of faffing around playing the, the G in different places. Um, I, I could play, um, so that's frets 3 and 5. I could play on frets 7 and 8. could even play on frets 8 and 12. Okay, so there, there's, there are all the shapes. Um, so I'm just going to switch these effects off. So that's a delay and chorus. Just get rid of those. So we've got a sort of plainer sound now. Um, so if we're going to look at the um, <clears throat> picking pattern um, that I was, I was playing in the uh, demo, the intro, um, we're, we're going to start with a just a one finger G minor okay and uh, I'm gonna do a pull on beat one and then so that was a pull on beat one and then it's a thumb and then it's an index so the index is on string two middle fingers on um, string one, so high G, middle D. So index, middle, I'll change the note, fret two instead of fret three. So I've got fret three, pull with my middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb. Do that again. So pull, thumb, index, when I'm, I'm changing from fret 3 to fret 2 with the left hand. Uh, after I've done that, I'll go to open, open strings. Now I can either stay there or I can step back up again if I'm going to go back to the G minor. So I can go fret 3, that middle finger that's um, playing the sort of varied note like the melody okay we can sort of use that trick on uh, on different chords really um, so say if I'm on a C minor exactly the same idea there's a bar a bit more difficult because it's got about the bar but um, I can start on fret 8 with my little finger 
fret 7, back to fret 7, so that's thumb to pull, sorry, thumb, index, middle, pull, thumb, index. I could even do it on the D. Now here, this is a D major, so I'm right up on fret 11 here, so it's a bit, little bit of a stretch, but instead of going to fret 9, give it a really strong minor sound, I'm going to go from 11 to 8. It's a real sort of typical, almost like classical Spanish type sound. So um, I'm going to play pull, So if I put all those together, there's the G, I'll go a bit slower if you want to join in. Okay, I'll do it one more time on the G, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to move to C. And then I'll go back to G, just give my barring hand a bit of a rest here. And then I'm going to go to D, and then That was actually a kind of minor sounding blues almost, if, if you're um, familiar with the 12-bar uh, blues sequence. Um, uh, it was just using uh, G minor and C minor instead. Um, but what we can do is, because uh, we, we're not doing blues in this lesson, um, is uh, we, can, we can play a low E flat and, uh, we can, and an F, and we can ascend back up to the G. I'll just use the same picking pattern, but I won't change and alter any notes this time. So, so that, that was just two, two shapes for the G there. I'll do that again, E flat. to G minor. So really, um, call all of these notes, all of these chords fit together. I, I can literally play any order, any sequence, and it's going to sound okay. Um, right, let's try and go for an E flat. Same trick on the E flat. 10, 12, 10, and then E flat. I'll change a bit more quickly here just to B flat, just, just to give it a bit of variation. So, I mean, when, when you start. Um, putting all of those component parts together, like the picking pattern, um, the chord shapes, altering notes within the chords, it, it actually becomes much, much more complicated. It becomes quite difficult um, in, in, in a certain level, depending on how long you've been playing for. But um, all of the, the component parts are actually very simple. Um, and and when, when you're familiar with which chords fit together, um, 
in, in either major or minor sounding keys, then um, you, you can uh, get quite an effective sound, you know, just doing it on the fly without following any particular um, progression from a song. Um, or you can write your own progressions, you know, and, and uh, again, there might be some songs jumping out at you which you're familiar with, um, or you might have come up with something quite novel, quite new, which which is great, you know, so, so you, you're creating new music. But um, it's... Uh, tying it together by keeping a, a sort of reasonably regular um, right hand pattern um, so it doesn't all get too varied. Uh, you, you want some structure, you want some like repetition in the music when you play them. Um, so say so here's G minor, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it twice here on the G minor. Uh, I'll go for B flat and then F E flat D D up here back to G minor right this time I'm going to go to C So um, finally, what you can do, so I definitely, you know, go around all of that. Um, just, just treat them as short little progressions. Uh, don't try and structure anything like I was doing there to start with. Just, just get a flow between three or four chords at the most. Maybe even just change between two to start with, and then start gluing them together. And you've you've got something that sounds like, you know, sounds like a proper piece of music. Um, Generally, you'll go around things in like four bar sections, you know, so you can repeat um, something twice, repeat it four times, great, uh, and then move on to something else. Um, but uh, what you can also do is you can start combining major and minor. So typically that sort of happens in blues. You'll, you'll get um, certain, say, blues is, is basically more of a sort of major, major sound. Uh, but say if we turned the, the, the G into a G7, it's got a little bit of an edge, bit of a sort of um, slightly sharp sound to it uh, compared to the more sort of even regular G major. Um, and then I could throw a B flat in there. So straight away that B flat, that sounds really bluesy. It sounds much more bluesy than go, go into the B from the, the major lesson, so I'm going to stick with the B-flat, that sounds loads better. Um, I'll keep the C and the D, but this time uh, I'll, I'll, I'll play the C as a, a major. Um, but Alongside the B-flat, uh, it's, it's sounding quite different to the, either the major or the minor um, from the, the previous progressions. Uh, I can use E minor, or I can even use E flat. You know, so 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 that all works um, because we, you get a slightly uh, kind of less melodic and a little bit more of a gritty sound with blues. You know, so sometimes you're. You, you, you'll get movements where it's just like stepping down one fret at a time, that type of thing. Um, but literally just using those bars even, um, if, if some of those stretchy shapes are quite difficult, um, works quite well. So here's a, a little sort of blues with a few extra chords written in, thrown in. So there's a G, there's a B flat. C there's an E E flat
Okay. So I uh, hope you found that lesson useful. Um, definitely, there's, there's quite a lot in there. You know, have, have a play around. And like I said, please check out the other um, videos we've got, which are really good for uh, fretting, uh, fretting riffs, um, slide playing, finger picking, um, blues, 12 bar blues, um, sort of straight rhythms, um, swung rhythms, these kinds of things. So I uh, hope you enjoyed all that and we look forward to seeing you here again soon on Coda Guitar.